Okay, guys, this will be a very short video for all of you who care about uh, AT14, which is antenna, VIP antenna for PD8 Yugoslav HF radio. So we're gonna show that in detail, but uh, see this stuff, I have broken it because I have screwed it and unscrewed it million of times on the radio. So it, it, the quality is excellent, but I am, you know, like a savage, so I have damaged this. Now I need to solder. Uh, wire to connector. Connector is really cool. It's somehow, I think it's bakelite or something like that. And the interesting thing is there is no like a negative end. It's just the one wire, positive wire, and that's it. Really cool, you know, uh, combination. Very simple stuff. This connector is really, really good. As always is the thing with military stuff. And the connection to radio is really simple. Now, what about overall length? Let, let me try to, to show that to you, okay, something like that, we're gonna measure that. So it's like uh, 2 meters and let's actually measure that thing. How many ankles we have? Let me see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5 ankles we have and now let's measure that thing. Okay, as you can see, it is 193 centimeters uh, to the beginning of the screw. One, probably I said that correctly, 193 centimeters and overall with this uh, end here, 195. So, 5 ankles and almost 2 meters and this antenna, when you look into documentation, it is... Um, it is engineered to have stable connection up till 15 kilometers. Uh, it's really not important what kind of power supply you are using, but 15 kilometers is guaranteed uh, connection. And of course, during the propagations, you can have many, many uh, kilometers uh, your QSOs. Okay, so let, uh, let's uh, actually open this thing. I mean, unscrew it. Maybe you guys care about that. In just a second I'm using one hand to do that and there you go okay right very cool screw you know very cool stuff and let's get this stuff a little bit closer and there you go really cool very simple piece of engineering it gets the job done there is a uh, three holes it depends about your setup on on a field and this radio is actually uh, constructed to be used on mobile basically right what about uh, angles the length of angles just a second so the first one is around 40 and so on so let's check the next one okay a little bit a uh, little bit less 39 to the start of new ankle and when we talk about ankles maybe maybe you want to see that in detail and that's about it so there is a rope on every ankle and let's open it because i want you guys to see this stuff okay i can manage to do that and there you go that's it that's uh, uh, how the screws are done right here this antenna is probably i don't know from uh, start of uh, 70s i think so device is from 70s something like that because the manual i was reading is from 75 so i suppose uh, the the radio is, is is earlier right start of 70s right Hopefully you appreciate these guys. Uh, maybe you care about this this piece of uh, engineering. And now let's go to uh, to radio and uh, let's uh, hook uh, this stuff to to radio. Here we are. The light is not that good, but uh, see this this stuff right here and uh, this stuff right here. So these guys need to lock like like that, okay? And then at the back of it, let me show that there is uh, this thing so let's try to do that i will not uh, put the antenna in here just to show how sh how connector is done how to connection is achieved so this thing in the middle of that thing okay and then hopefully i can do this with a uh, with one hand so see that see that thing it locks man i'm doing this with one hand it locks right here and that's it you just press the stuff and that's it it's it done okay so nothing nothing moves it's really really stable no problems very cool stuff okay 
Uh, here we have a little bit of like millimeter or two, it goes up and down, but it's really not important because there is a like a physical break down there. And you have options to screw in a in a three directions. Uh, right, as I said, I need to solder the piece of wire and because I'm lazy, I just, uh, you know, get this uh, central piece, put it in here and I'm uh, sometimes listening on this combination. Of course, for transmitting uh, something else is uh, needed, I'm not playing around, I don't want to burn my radio, but uh, if you're lazy sometimes you can just plug this stuff in and uh, any kind of wire will get the job done because PD8 is really really good um, receiving all kind of signals. Now let's go again to another room and I want you to I want to show you the, the ankles how they look like. Now we're gonna go to monitor to show you a couple of more images and documentation and maybe this video will be useful to you. Okay, couple of more things. This is official documentation for 80, 14 we have a 15 kilometers range. Uh, I don't have 80, 15 that is markings for a middle antenna and uh, I don't have 8013 that is dipole uh, where range is 50 kilometers so 8015 is a 25 kilometers and 8013 is a 50 kilometers but this one that i have is a like a smallest one 8014 15 kilometers right so a couple of other things if you care the power is uh, 10 watts the um, expenditure when we talk about amperage is a 0.65 amperage uh, to receive to receive uh, communication and the 5 amps is uh, when the radio is transmitting but actually um, uh, it is a little bit higher well at least in my radio i think uh, it is maybe a little bit modified so it's uh, it's higher than 6 amps but by default it's 5 amps Okay, it depends about, you know, setup and antenna and frequency and, and all that uh, kind of stuff. So interesting thing is that the whole complex, like Rup 15, that is the big complex that includes all these things and uh, antennas and, and radio PD8, the weight it is 35 kil kilograms. That's very, very heavy, uh, heavy complex, right? And here you also have some other technical details, but if you care, we can, uh, you know, talk about this stuff, but put that stuff in a comment section below if you want to uh, see that video. So generally the antenna is really, really, you know, it, it gets the job done, nothing special. Uh, let me show that uh, maybe I need to, okay, set this stuff like that. So that was the, the, the antenna when the connector was fine and um, yeah. Okay, so that is a connector that goes to radio and yeah, so really, really simple stuff. It gets the job done, right? Okay, guys, so thank you for watching and uh, yeah, see you next one. Ciao, ciao.